Hello everyone, Rogue Gaming here. Today we're at the Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea. Glad you decided to tag along with us, so let's get started.
Hello everybody, Rogue Gaming here. Welcome to another tag along on Alps Panorama. Uh, as you've seen in the first part of the video, we've been very busy. We've done a lot of plowing, done a lot of stump removal. There's the bud out back. Got at least from the store currently. We didn't buy it or anything like that. I uh, wanted something big just to get it, the job done quickly. Uh, we've got everything plowed uh, on the agenda for today. I've already sold the little cultivator uh, that we have. So we need to go buy, I've already purchased it, we just need to go pick it up from the store. Um, another cultivator, a uh, disc harrow. Uh, I'd done that off screen, figured out which one I'd like. Uh, good working with, good looking machine. Uh, I think it's going to fit the farm really well. I think it's going to fit really well behind this little fence. Uh, you see we've got the sw uh, straw swaths. I'm looking at possibly even leasing a uh, loading wagon just to get that straw picked up and sold. Uh, kind of see if it's worth doing. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what straw's going for. I haven't looked at the prices. There's the bud. We need to get that taken back to the shop. Uh, this is the plot behind where all the trees were, where we had plowed it up. Uh, very, very large addition to the farm here as far as arable land. Just take a little quick trip around it here, just kind of show it off a little bit. This took some serious time to do. Uh, the plow, when it went through, it plowed up all the bushes and different things. Got rid of all that, got this edge cleaned up, and as I'm going around, I find a stump. One single stump, after I'd already returned the stump grinder, of course. But that's not a huge deal, we can get a, a stump grinder and get that stump cut up out of there. Just take a little trip around the edge of the property line here. And when I say this field is now massive, it is absolutely massive. This ought to get us a decent bit of crop coming in. Uh, talking with Logie, we'd like to start getting some animals in here. Uh, we're not entirely sure what we're going to do first. Uh, might be some chickens. Uh, they fairly self-explanatory. You feed them, you clean up their feed area, and you collect the egg boxes. That's probably where we're going to start. I don't think we'll get to it today. It'll probably have to be the next episode. So I think what we're going to do now is just run up to the store, pick up the cultivator, bring it back. We will... Uh, check about leasing a loading wagon, uh, getting that brought back, and uh, start picking up some straw. Oh, wrong way. I do this every time. I don't know why. I just do. I need to put me a little path right here. So when I do that, I don't have to drive through the neighbor's grass. We are at the store. See our new piece of equipment in there. We'll just get backed up and hooked up here. I decided to go with the Agromash. It is the BTC. Go ahead and get it pulled out here. I'll open it up and show it to you guys a little bit. Good looking little piece of equipment. I don't remember now what the working width is on this. Two rows of discs and the crumbler on the back. It's a very good looking machine. I really like the looks of this. 
it fits really well right behind the fan. Yes, I am very happy with that. I'll back in here and go ahead and fold it up. Come on now. There it goes. take this back and go ahead and put it up See, I think I'll put it over here beside the harvester. Got the little seed drill there. Uh, like I said in the last episode, there uh, we're going to have to get something a little bit bigger than that little Amazon to seed these fields. That will take an absolute horrific amount of time to do with that small seeder. Uh, if we had a smaller plot and smaller fields, it wouldn't be as bad, but. Where I just extended that field and made it so large, it's going to be tough to do. I think now we'll just head on back up to the store, check about leasing a loading wagon, and seeing what we can get to from there. Loading wagons are right uh, where they are, right there they are. Thirty four thousand liters, hundred and twenty horsepower. Let's go for it. Four thousand eighty to lease, that's not terrible. We've got plenty of horsepower to pull it. Good looking little loading wag wagon, the Bergman. I say I like the looks of that. We'll pull around the back side and probably start back here on field three. I believe it's three. I considered uh, leasing a wind rower or some sort of rower to get the uh, swaths all grouped up into smaller sections, but I'm afraid I'm not going to make very much money on the straw here, uh, so I didn't want to waste money to pick up straw just to break even or even lose money. 
I just assume not uh, not do any of that. So I'll continue with this and I'll see you guys back here in just a few minutes. Alrighty everybody, welcome back. So, <laughs> uh, as you seen right where I left you, I was starting to pick up the straw, uh, get that going, get that hauled off, get that sold. Uh, the only sale point is on the little island of this map. Uh, decent little ways away uh, with the small tractors we have, 34,000 liters. Uh, it was going to take absolutely forever to get all this straw picked up. On top of that, uh, I wasn't making very much. I was going to have to clear uh, field three and field two just to break even on the leasing of the loading wagon. Um, so what I did was I cleared enough to break even on the deal. And <laughs> I've decided to go ahead and just... Uh, cultivate the rest of the straw in uh, later on down the road get a uh, larger tractor larger equipment uh, larger loading wagon um, and if we have some straw uh, we can do it that way uh, we might try to bail it eventually for uh, the animals we want to get uh, cows sheep horses pigs everything except for the chickens uh, take straw and having uh, loose thing on the ground and a loading wagon is a lot cheaper for uh, alternative to the hayloft. Uh, I want to say it's around ninety thousand uh, to buy the hayloft. Uh, you can store two hundred fifty thousand liters in it, uh, but just for right now, we don't have any of those animals. It's not really cost effective to do that uh, as far as leasing a loading wagon, hauling it all the way up there. Uh, so for the time being. I'm just going to go ahead and cultivate in what I do have here. Uh, I need to run to the store, uh, probably be in the next episode. Uh, I need to get a larger uh, seed drill. Um, I've had a look around uh, while I was loading and unloading the straw. Um, there's a couple that I'm really liking. Um, I'll show you guys that later on when we get to it. Um, we have the entire field uh, uh, three and the extension. We have two and one uh, that need to be cultivated. Um, get that done. Uh, field two is going right now. Field one is over there in the background. We'll get it cultivated, get the ground ready for seed, uh, get some seed in the ground. I'm thinking a very high profitable uh, crop just to get a good surge of money coming in. Uh, we have some crops in storage already, a uh, few oats, few barley, few wheat um, from the harvest from when we started in episode one there. Uh, you start with a little bit of crops in the silo, so there's some there. Uh, there's just not a lot, uh, a little bit of everything pretty much. Uh, I want to get a good influx of cash. Um, I was going to show you guys the other houses we own. Uh, they're guest houses and beachfront property and this and that. I think what I'll do um, off screen is go ahead and sell those, get a good little chunk of cash in the bank uh, so that we can really afford to do the things that I want to do. Um, probably get some chickens, uh, get some money rolling in day to day. Uh, depending on how much we get for the houses. Uh, we may even put up some solar panels to kind of power this farm, uh, get a little influx of cash as we go. Um, we can take a look at that uh, in the next episode, just kind of see where that takes us. Uh, but in the first, uh, first thing in the next episode, we need to get the fields uh, seeded, get them growing, and just kind of go from there. Um, I'm going to let this worker continue. Uh, he's missing quite a bit. And I believe it's a collision he's picking up from the road. Uh, he's giving himself plenty of room to turn uh, where the road has a little bit of a, a, a rise up to it. I believe he's seeing that and he's kind of freaking out a little bit. 
Um, so we can go through when he's done, get most of it done here, and we can go through and clean it up. Uh, once he finishes with this field, we'll send him over to one. Um, that's a very odd-shaped field, um, so there'll be some uh, some cleanup we'll have to do over there as well, uh, but that's not a big deal at all. It won't be too much. So I believe I will let him continue. Uh, we'll just let this kind of play in the background. Uh, if you've enjoyed the content for today, hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit the sub subscribe button and hit that little bell next to it. That way you get notified anytime we put videos up. Uh, until I see you again, thanks for watching.